Hey guys, what's up? This is Liberates, and today, as promised, I am going to be bringing you a speech bubble effect tutorial. <clears throat> and I have seen this used in a lot of montages as of lately. So, and it's been requested by quite a bit of people, but I myself did not know how to do that until I finally figured it out a few um a few weeks ago, and it's actually quite easy. So you will see that in a second. Well, not in a second, probably, but. So here I have my clip all rendered out, and I rendered this. What you're going to want to do is render your clip from Vegas to 59.94 frames per second in your render settings. And this is so we can put Twixter, and we're going to want to put Twixter in, otherwise it's going to be really hard to motion track the speech bubble to him. So, <clears throat> what you want to do is come to your composition settings after you have dragged your clip in, and come down to frame rate and change it to 59.94, or if you did not want to follow or rendered out in Sony Vegas as 59.94, just change the frame rate to whatever you rendered it out as. So I rendered it out as 59.94, so I'll put that there. And then on your duration, you're going to want to bump it up a little bit because we're going to be putting Twixter in. So I'm going to bump it to 1250. Now you're going to want to come down here and just scale out so you can see your whole timeline. <clears throat> and you're going to want to go to Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping, and this will allow you to drag it in and out so Twixter will work better, I guess. So now what you want to do is go up to Effect, <coughs> Revision Plugins, Twixter 4.5, and then where it says Input Frame Rate, you're going to change that to whatever you rendered your clip out as, so 59.94. Come down to Motion Sensitivity, and I like to take it down to around 30 just because it makes it look a little bit better. Now come down to your timeline down here and go under Effects and Twixter and Output Control. And now we're going to go to the part we want Twixtered. <laughs> Um, where we want the speech bubble to be. So I want I want this guy to die, and then a little question mark to come out of this guy's head. So I'll put Twixter right about. I want to start right. This is where I want it to start. So you're gonna go back one keyframe by holding Control and moving left on the arrow keys, and you're gonna click the stopwatch button on speed. And this will create a keyframe and keep it at 100%. And then you want to hit Control and go right. And that'll move forward one frame. And then you're going to change the speed to around 20, anywhere from 20 to 30. I'm going to go 20. And then you're going to go ahead and go forward to wherever you want it to stop. I want it to stop right around there. So right here, I'm going to change the speed to 20.1 just so it can create a new keyframe. And then you're going to go Control right. Um, on the arrow to go forward one keyframe and you're going to put your speed back up to 100 and then what you want to do since you can see now that the clip cuts off you're going to this is why we enabled the time remapping you're going to drag this out until you can see the clip is finished so you will either get a black screen or a green screen or it'll fade so you see I got a green screen I want to go forward to where I started to get that so right there so now I'm just going to drag this back to wherever it was perfect all right now as you can see, <clears throat> we will go ahead and click that little RAM preview button up there. Wait for it so you can get a little preview of what it's going to look like. Alright, so now you can see on the Twixter it's kind of wavy and this is the main part. This is what really makes um, Twixter settings stand out, what makes them the best. Um, a lot of people do this and this is really good. So you're going to come down here and where it says enable motion blur for all layers with the motion blur switch set. You're going to go ahead and click on that and then go left of that and it'll say enable frame blending for all layers. Go ahead and click on that and then you're going to right click on your clip down here and go up to frame blending and check pixel motion. Now if we can preview this and while it's trying to render itself, come on, come on baby, okay check our time 417 okay you know what we don't have time for a preview it takes a lot longer to render it though but it does make it look 10 times better and it's really nice all right so now what we want to do is you want to come up to uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of this you're gonna want to come to layer new layer or solid and make sure it's black and make it the comp size and hit OK now what you want to do is come up to your pen tool and just make a basic kind of a speech bubble shape <clears throat> so like this and then I don't want to make it start going circular up here. Like a this. And I'm just going to try and do mine 
rather quickly so that it doesn't take too long so don't expect me to be really good uh, mine's gonna be pretty terrible yeah this is looking pretty bad um, so take your time on this otherwise it will look like crap um, no offense to your crap people out there but yeah just take your time um, and close it so there you can see I have a basic speech bubble type thing and yeah it does not look too good does it no sir it does not okay so now what you want to do is now that you have your little solid all framed out um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll back here just so I can see my clip not all zoomed in come on alright there we go now believe it or not it is this simple you're gonna come over to your effects and presets and type in scribble uh-huh bet you didn't think it was that easy just drag it on there and guess what you have you have a little moving bubble but this takes forever to render so I'm not gonna render it all out but as you, you can tell it's moving I hope you can um, you can go over and change up the settings I'm gonna go to random seed I'm gonna change that up to about two just so it moves a little bit more wiggles per second it, it's at 10 right now just play around with the settings so you find something you like alright now I'm gonna go ahead to the Twixter part dun 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 so let's go come on oh my gosh my computer's going slow right now yeah I think that's Twixter okay hold on I gotta go see where I started the Twixter alright so I started it back here alright so right here is where we want our little bubble to pop out so we're gonna go um, down to our black solid we're gonna go to effects or we're gonna go to transform is it yeah transform and you're gonna go to where you have your Twixter starting and then you're gonna go control left one keyframe and you were gonna change the opacity you're gonna keyframe the opacity click the stopwatch and change the opacity to zero percent and then you're gonna go control right one keyframe or two keyframes because that's where my Twixter is and then you're gonna change the opacity up to 100 <clears> percent <throat> and now it's a simple matter of motion tracking so we're gonna put it right there to begin and then what you wanna do is come up to position and you're gonna go ahead and click on that the stopwatch and then basically you just want to go through it frame by frame and keyframe it and it will most likely be a time consuming process and yeah very time consuming um, I'm just gonna do it rather quickly so do not do it how I do it because I am doing it rather quickly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're at a standstill, basically, so it's a little bit easier. Just move it up. And just doing it quite tackily. I think it's loading, I'm not sure. It's loading. Alright, this is not cool. Ah, come on, don't freeze on me, computer. Alright, and it's frozen again. Move it up. Come on, not cool. Alright, so... Dun, dun, dun. Just keyframing the position to his head. And as you can see, it kind of looks tacky because, whoa, whoa, because the, um, the speech bubble is really big, whereas the guy is not so big. So uh, we're going to take care of that in a second, as soon as we're done with this. And now we are about one keyframe to where our trickster ends so you're gonna change the opacity to 99 percent to create a new keyframe and hit control go right one keyframe and change the opacity to zero <clears throat> now what you want to do is um so as you can see the the okay the speech bubble is rather large whereas his head is not rather large so you're just gonna scale it down simple as that Okay, that's that's not scaling it down. Let's go. What is it doing? Okay, so scaling it down apparently is not so simple. Not so simple at all. So, no. You know what? This is not cool. Okay, that's good enough. Why not? Alright, so now I'm just going to put a little question mark in it. <clears throat> so, composition. Or no, we're going to go layer, new, text. And then you're gonna click anywhere and just create a question mark oh I'm on a bad font alright where's my font settings I'm not prepared I'm sorry guys so just go to whatever font you like and I'm gonna use the rod no okay yes good now type a question mark 
beautiful question mark, I know. Now we'll just scale it down so that it can fit inside. And it won't let me scale it down. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Alright, now scale it down. Oh my gosh. What the heck? How was that? This is not not working. Um, okay, you know, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Just scale it down while I'm gone. Alright, I have realized my error. So, to scale it down, you just want to come down to your font size where it says 100px and just change it down to fit inside the speech bubble. Cool beans. Alright, so I have it at 95 and now it's scaled down basically. Alright, so now it's inside my speech bubble. Now what you want to do is you want to go to parent and you're going to click on this little pick whip thing and you're going to drag it to black solid. Now if we play through it, oh I forgot to do that so hold on. Hold on dudes. So you're going to want to go to <clears throat> right before your trickster starts once again or right before your speech bubble appears. So we'll go speech bubble where are you? There it is. So now we'll go back one keyframe and we will change the opacity two of the text layer so go to the text go to transform and under opacity click the stopwatch button and you're gonna change the opacity to zero go forward one keyframe and change it to 100 and now if we scroll through you can see that it stays with the speech bubble because we pick whipped it I call that thing a pick whip I don't know what it's called we made it a child of the black solid the parent thingy so this is it for this tutorial I guess and um <clears throat> hope you all enjoyed this loveliness actually what I forgot to do is now when your speech bubble goes away come on don't freeze that's not cool and it's freezing okay so one keyframe alright so change the opacity of this to 99 go forward one keyframe and change the opacity of the text layer to zero and now it disappears with the peach bubble so we're done now um so i'm just gonna shorten this up because i don't want to render all this out so um my clip ends at 8 30 so Control k to open composition settings duration 8 30 this has been a very long tutorial and so i will show this one more time at the end um i hope you guys learned it and if you have any questions go ahead and send me a message because I know I didn't do very good in this tutorial. I don't know why. I just wasn't very prepared or something. Alright, so I'll see you guys later.